So I'm not sure if I should be excited about high school right. uniforms. Probably not. That's not good. So I'm not excited about that. Mm. <laughs> this is getting weird. Today is school ties, everybody. Woohoo! Nice More uniforms. Yeah. <laughs> I actually thought we were getting ready to watch the Dead Poets Society because <laughs> in my mind they meshed into one and I don't think I've actually seen school ties so in my mind Robin Williams is in school ties. From what I can remember there is Matt Damon in this film. Okay. Do you remember Brendan Fraser being in it? I don't actually. I do think it's a drama. Are you sure you're not remembering it as Dead Poet? Poet Society? Dead Poet Society? <laughs> Can't talk today. Uh, well, actually, I might be. We watched this on Prime, Amazon Prime. We rented it. Well, or we're going. <laughs> we're not. We, we haven't, haven't seen it yet. yet. <laughs> we're not redoing this video. No, not at but all. We did very late one night when I was falling asleep, and then we redid the next morning when she was falling, falling asleep. asleep. So, no, I mean, no. This, this is an all new. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Never been done before. No. And we're off to the races. Pew! Okay. You were picking out a pumpkin today and you were making a sound effect that the pumpkin would make. This pump this pumpkin. I think I went like Pew! Yeah, you did. But why? That's just what I felt. But what a so what about the other two? Um, the other two didn't have sound effects. This one's like Aww. This one also didn't strike me as a sound effect pumpkin. It's the feeling. It's the sound. Cheers to that. Cheers. Let's do this. All right. School ties. What a, what a, what a film. This was a really intense film. I, I think was. I was expecting more of a feel good movie. And also this movie handles some really heavy topics. So School Ties takes place in, 19, in the 1950s. His character is named David Green, mm -hmm. and he's like this star athlete, football player, and he gets a full scholarship to the, a private like prep school. And it's his senior year, and so mm -hmm. it's very unusual because most of these guys have been there, this is their fourth year. They've got their groups of friends right. well established. So it's unusual for someone to come in just in their senior year and he comes in and he is amazing in all the sports and he's amazing with the girls and all the stuff mm -hmm. and really smart, well liked by the teachers. Um, but he feels like he has to keep this secret about himself, which is that he's a Jew. And he's encouraged to keep that a secret right. by, by the football coach. The football coach and his dad. And meanwhile, he has to withstand all of these anti-Semitic comments from his friends and yeah. kind of go along with it. That would be so hard. Oh, it'd be terrible. Because these are his friends. These are the, the guys that he rooms with and he's with all the time. And yet he yeah. thinks, okay, but if they know who I actually am, they might treat me differently. Yeah. You know, of course the, the, the secret eventually gets mm -hmm. revealed. And meanwhile, all the, all the boys are struggling. They feel like they need to be the best at every single thing, and there's a lot of pressure from their family. They come from extremely privileged homes where there's lots of money, and the, the family name and honor is, carries a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. Actors in this movie, I feel like it's it's a very noteworthy movie, just considering this is probably one of the first movies that a lot of these guys are in. Mm -hmm. So, like, big got movies. Brendan Fraser, obviously. Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Chris O'Donnell, uh, Randall Battenkoff. Yeah, I noticed he was the preacher from mm -hmm. Christy. Yeah. The made for TV series that you can also watch on YouTube. In in many parts. parts. Da, 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 da. I feel like this was the first role that Brendan Fraser had where he was really able to stretch his acting chops, show his acting chops. He stretched the chops. <laughs> I think the thing that was so infuriating was that his friends loved him. Right. And then once they knew... As soon as they found out, it was like the switch was flipped and they were so awful. Yeah. He, his name was the very first name in the opening credits. I just want to put that out yeah, there. So that was exciting to see because we were like, okay, we're really, we're really going to see a lot of him mm -hmm. in this film, which is... I mean, we saw a lot of him in Encino Man, but it was just a oh, lot of grunting. We saw a lot of him in this film. Yeah, we... <laughs> you know what I mean? We did. Mm -hmm. This was an emotionally depthy film. 
It, re it really was. An emotionally deep film. <laughs> it was, he was so depthy. He was very depthy. Mm. I mean, he's going through a lot, obviously. And a lot of it was, um, like, just very subtle, physical things, like facial expressions. Mm -hmm. Hearing the horrible comments about Jews, it was just, you saw him kind of holding back. And then there were a lot of times when all of his pent-up aggression would come out and he would just punch somebody. Yeah. Like, I think he just couldn't keep it in. And then we also saw on the other side how caring he could be when someone was in need, mm -hmm. um, how lighthearted and flirty he could be with yeah. a girl. There was this really lovely side to him. He seems like he would be a really good friend. Yeah, a really good friend, mm -hmm. and under the right circumstances, very charming, mm -hmm. um, really funny, easy to be around. Meet the middle. middle. Let's do like five and a half. Five point five. Five point five. Bebe. Great. Bebe. Ma'am count. Uh, I don't remember hearing any yeah, bams. I didn't, well, I didn't write any down, so that obviously gets a zero. Zero. Comedic performance. performance. Um, I feel like he deserves some points because, like, when all the boys are together in a room and they're pretending like they're in a band. Yeah. And then the French teacher comes in and he's like, shut it down. Mm -hmm. Like, shut up. It's the debate. It's the debate. Wait, it's me, the debate. Mumsy never let us say shut up. I know that we had to say so weird. Please be quiet. Whitney, please be quiet. Will you please be quiet. No, that felt so unnatural coming out of my mouth. That was bizarre. That was the debate coming forward. So he was saying, please, please control be quiet. your volume. We should have been saying that when we were okay. You never would have had to say that no. to me though. No, you would have had to say it to me too. Um, and then there was another scene where he was just really cute and flirty and kind of funny with um, his love interest. Mm -hmm. Let's meet in the middle. All right, one point five. One point five. I thought that even though those parts were very small, and in some ways maybe a little bit forgettable in terms of the storyline, we needed it. I I needed we some needed comic it. relief because mm -hmm. it was kind of a yeah heavy movie. It was. All right, best actor, actor in a dramatic, dramatic role. Wow. He stretched his chops. He stretched those That's big old chops. All I can say about um, that. Five. Mm-hmm. Five. Yeah, great. Natural stars. Physical prowess and stunts. So, all right. He was a football player. A we very saw good football player. We saw him in action on the field, and I felt like he was really convincing. Yeah. Not that I know anything. Anything about, about football? We know nothing. Just that there's a ball. And they wear uniforms. And they like, I mean, that's not, I run into each other. That's true. I've been to some football games. Yeah, I went to a lot of college. Really? But did I actually watch the game? No. I did. Why I would you? I sort of did, but I was really there because it was just fun to hang out with my friends. With football, you know, there's like that U-shaped, like metal thing. Mm -hmm. Is that the goal? Well, I think you make a goal through the U-shaped thing. Yeah. You have to, like, throw it through. Or kick it, right? Yeah. Do you have a sound effect for that? Bzzoom! My sound effects are just deeper than that, you know? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I'm not a... Well, that's not true. I probably yeah, do that, you too. Do. You go... Oh! That's true. <laughs> okay, so clearly we don't know a whole lot of, about football, but we still enjoy him... In a football he game. He seemed like he knew what he was doing. He was the quarterback. He was making all the calls. Do like Canadians have footballs? Of course they do. I, I feel like that's just an American thing. Well, they have it in Europe. No, they don't. Yes, they do. They do not have American football in no. Europe. It's called soccer in Europe, right? No, it's called football. Soccer is called oh, football right. in Europe. <laughs> What's that soccer championship? The World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I get actually could get into I, that. I can get into that, but it took me a while to figure out what the World Cup, like, dizzy uh, structure was. We we're going to sound so stupid. We went to the ballet growing up. We, we went on a sports we did ballet. ballet. Listen, it was dance and musical theater. That was Small. it. But we didn't do organized sports. As kids, we, have, we never even did soccer or anything. I thought you did tennis. I did tennis. That's not an or that's not an organized. Sport. The U they have tennis matches. Wimbledon, right? Yeah. But is that like you're not on a team, are you? 
Um, you're just playing by yourself. Like, I mean, I think your team is just for your country or something. But sometimes I would play badminton in the backyard, like by myself. No, that's a sport. Sport by myself. That's like a, an Edwardian sport. I love it. I do too. Well, it's like tennis and bocce ball. Oh, I love some bocce ball and some croquet. I do too. I played it for the first time a few years ago. It's so and fun. And I felt like I need more of that in my life. Garden parties are the best. You have to have croquet at a garden party. Yeah. You, if, if if there's not croquet at a garden party, can it even be I considered a so garden I am so scared party? that I'm about to get marked up with <laughs> this black <laughs> marker. Well, that was a tangent. Do you think that we don't have anything to say about sports? We've got a lot. It just proved you wrong. What are we talking about? Physical prowess and stunts. Yes. He plays football. football. Um, he gets into fights quite he a bit. Is he is in, he's an instigator. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know how to deal with it, all this pent up anger he has. Also, he's a really good dancer. He's a great dancer. No, this is something we've known. I think what I like about watching him dance with somebody. He's so playful. He's so he looks like he would be so fun to dance yeah. with. Like I, I actually dance with that him. would be my dream. Is to go dance Brendan, with him. I just want to dance with you. So sometimes, unfortunately, unforeseen circumstances happen when your camera battery dies and you thought it was charged. So back to physical problems. Recording on the phone right now. The shower scene was very unexpected and spectacular. Um, and it's interesting that they put it in there. Actually, mm -hmm. I agree. They could well, because easily but, not. But they were completely vulnerable. They were naked and vulnerable, mm -hmm. and like oh, you're fighting the symbolism. Yeah, fighting naked because <laughs> I, I know from experience, I fight naked all the time. Right. It's a very, um, it's a very intimate thing. It is, especially the way that they were fighting. I mean, you're like, like bending over, trying to protect each other, like, like grabbing somebody. Things. Yeah, like. In a real world naked fighting setting, mm -hmm. everything would be touching everything. Yep. Yes. Now, of course, this is a movie, so I'm sure it was all choreographed. They, they were like choreographed. covered and stuff. That's a different three for you, Whitney. Is it? Yeah. Hair. I was a little disappointed by the hair this time. It was a bit like Sailor Number Two. Uh, number one, sailor number one, get it right, so Disney. Sorry. All of the other guys looked, they were like slicked back, kind of like West Side Story. And I was like, wow. And then Brendan's hair was like a poof. It was a little 90s looking. Um, and it wasn't as clean cut, I guess. It wasn't styled in that way as everyone else's hair was. And well, maybe that's, maybe that was on purpose. Maybe it was on to purpose. To show that he's not from such a polished. But, but when it showed his hometown and his friends, his friends had hair that was like, Slicked back. It was meh. So so. Yeah. It was, it was okay. Oh, I'm going with two. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I felt I liked it more than Sailor Number One. But, but not, not as much as light I light years mean. more. Not bad, but not good. Hidden talents. So the very first scene, he's in the car and he's singing oh, yeah. along to Ain't That a Shame. I would really love to hear him actually sing. Hmm. But mm -hmm. it was it was a joyful moment. He was in a good mood. He was singing. He was driving to meet up with his friends. That was really nice. Um, for me, obviously the dancing. Also, French. When his friend was having oh, a nervous yes, breakdown and yes. he was speaking French to him. That's true. I was really impressed with how convincingly he could flirt with a girl. When he was dancing for the first time with that girl and he was walking away and he was walking backwards and he was just like, I mean, I feel like I need to watch that part again. He was roping me in. Completely. Like, that, full on lasso. That is all it, really all it takes. All I need you to do is walk away from me, but like, <laughs> hold just, my Just game. leave me. After dancing. Just leave me, and like, then I'll, away, I'll call for you. Actually, just like dance away. <laughs> it's all about the look. It's oh. about the eyes. It's about the walking backwards. And it's the unattainability. Yeah, it always is though, isn't it? I feel like I learned I learned some good stuff about him this time. I did too. There was a lot. I got a five. Well, let's do a four point five. These markers smell weird. Swoons. Swoons. There was really only one swoon, which kind of surprised me because they went to a dance and mm -hmm. I just expected, like, 
I I remember saying, Whitney, this is my moment. Right. Because I, right. I record the swoons. And there was only one. Mm -hmm. And she fell for him hook, line, and sinker. Oh, yeah. She couldn't help Immediately. So Cry baby girl did. One. Ugh. My temperature. I wasn't as into him this time as I thought I would be. Looking at the moments when he was connecting with a girl, he was just super sweet and flirty and fun. I liked his character and like the character's personality. He was also really angry, but mm, I, for me, I don't like angry men though. So maybe, maybe I don't feel that way. We did love the dancing. I, it just, that's really all it took. Do we have notes? I wrote down, I think you're pretty too. He told the girl, I think you're pretty. And she said, I think you're pretty too. Yeah. And that was really sweet. And I did like that. I've told guys that they're pretty before yeah, me too. and it doesn't go over well. Oh really? No. So I think you're pretty is a no. I think you're pretty too. Oh, I think you're pretty. Oh. Oh. Final score, 27. And a half. Encino Man was 30. So this is 27 wow. and a half, yeah. And this was a much deeper role it was. than Encino Man. So are we are we that shallow? Mm -hmm. He got higher points on the comedy. It was really funny. Yeah, and swoons. Oh yeah. So no, we're we're not we're not that shallow. Our next feature film starring Brendan Fraser is 20 bucks from the year 1993 and we'll be watching it on Amazon Prime for, for free. free. So watch if it. anyone wants to watch it this week, and go join ahead. us for next week's episode. Oh, I almost did a sound effect, but I stopped myself because no, I'm getting self-conscious. No, never stop yourself unless you're about to like murder someone. Um, yeah. Or rob a bank. Or murder someone. Good to know what's on your mind. No, that's not a sound effect that I would ever do. Yeah, I will also say I'm not getting that vibe from that pumpkin, but if that's how you feel, I honor that. That's Please. what I'm getting. I honor that. I don't know, man. Him tell us, let's meet in the middle 4.5. 4.5.